as we are putting the drops on our chickens or our chicks eyes make sure the eyes opened just like that one then you bring your drop you put it exactly on the eye just like that it's a question how do you vaccinate your local chickens or how do you vaccinate your chickens are you using organics or inorganic that's what we are going to discuss in this video and when to use organics to vaccinate your chickens and when not to use organics then how do we vaccinate our chickens because we find ourselves after vaccinating again we are attacked by these very diseases what's wrong how to vaccinate that's what we're going through in this video uh, stick around uh, welcome back to the chicks youtube channel the chicks is my name always here to see everyone is doing chickens of course i'm the world best chicken dad but before anything i have two uh, sick chickens here mm, let us see how to help out these ones let us try to help out guys i know you most of you guys you still you still attacked or oh, you experiencing the same you're seeing here you seeing this chicken it has swelled the whole head so we just you know this is a respiratory disease but most of these respiratory diseases uh, signs of these very diseases i don't say that every time you experience these respiratory diseases are the cough um flu in your chickens that it's a very disease but i'm saying sometimes these are signs of these very diseases so just expect uh if you're experiencing this uh you're trying to treat you're giving medicine you're trying to treat your chicken but it is persisting cough is persisting flu is persisting just you know it's a fire diseases so that's why we are coming out today to talk about it how to vaccinate this one is experiencing cough and flu that's why you're seeing it's head has swollen as you know very well when you get a uh, difficulty in breathing you just experience uh, these parts on the head to swell because it has that difficulty in breathing so we are trying to help it out to drink this to take medicine come guys you're seeing this is the proper way if you're trying to help out your chicken is to drink at least that is the proper way that is the proper way you just use this syringe then you try to take drops 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 Yeah, so guys, I'm having two here. This is my sixth section. I'm having two. The the other one is the, a bit improving now. This one, but I'm trying to give out. Yeah, guys, let us go straight to discuss about our vaccination, our vaccination thing. Uh, the vaccination chart or vaccination schedule for our local chicken is, is exactly the same as that one of layers buds. As you know very well, the layers buds we have, we vaccinate as we are going to sell them. We are going to stay with them for a longer time. The same to our local chickens. We vaccinate as we are going to stay with them for a longer time. So, the same vaccination schedule. Uh, we use for layers 
chickens for commercial layers it is the same schedule we use for our uh, local chickens first of all at day one or there at the hatchery we have to vaccinate for what we call mallets and as you know very well mallets it's all about that first dose that boost dose we give to our chicks at day one uh, that will help their growth then uh, from the hatchery there we come back home uh, we going into broader so that is very first week we have to vaccinate for Newcastle Newcastle we have that Newcastle play and then we have that Newcastle plus IB at the first day we vaccinate for Newcastle plain that is week one you can do it from day one up to seven days so long as you are in the, in that period uh, you still in the good period of vaccinating uh, for Newcastle the first one or Newcastle plain but always the earlier the better you may think that I will vaccinate on day 7 but again you attack along the way so the earlier the better but that is first week we vaccinate for uh, Newcastle plain then second week uh, that's from day 7 to 14 days that is that in that interval we have to vaccinate for uh, Gomboro the first Gomboro we vaccinate for Gomboro one and also we have two types of Gomboro that first Gomboro we vaccinate that Gomboro minus anything then the third week that is from day 7 uh, from day 14 to day 21 that is the interval of that third week we vaccinate for second Gomboro but this second Gomboro uh, we have to vaccinate for that Gomboro which is IBD that is the second Gomboro we have to vaccinate that is the third week then fourth week we go back and we vaccinate for Newcastle this time around at first we vaccinated Newcastle plane uh, this time around we vaccinate for Newcastle plus IB that's the fourth week then from there we rest the fifth week then we come back at the sixth week we vaccinate for fowler tox we are talking about local chickens we vaccinate for fowler pox at the sixth week then at that very sixth week we can start to deworm now we introduce also deworming and the dirty fowler pox we can you can vaccinate it at that week six or week eight in that interval so uh in a brief that is our vaccination schedule then after all that we uh we go back and we start to revaccinate every after one month or every after two months according to the location guys we are vaccinating but again we uh attacked by these viral diseases what is it already vaccinating but again you are attacked by that very very disease guys this are uh, vaccines we are talking about they are delicate uh it's all about the way we handle these vaccines right from where they manufacture these vaccines of course they move in the process from where they manufacture them they uh, carry them until it will reach to that last person who is going to vaccinate the bird so along that longer process you may find that the vaccine can uh, die on the way so we don't mind all that process but at least for us let us do our work from where you're going to buy the vaccine until where you're going to vaccinate your birds this is the setup this is the simple setup as you're seeing here just you know you have to get that cooler or that carrier to carry your vaccine from where you're going to buy it from as you know very well uh, we have to keep these vaccines at the cold temperatures 
Uh, so that's why you have to, you, you find that this, where we buying these vaccines are kept in a refrigerator. Then after there, also have that carrier that will be keeping that vaccine still at the, uh, the coolest temperature. You know very well as they were uh, manufacturing these uh, vaccines, they, uh, we are using a virus to vaccinate against a virus. But the difference here, the virus we are using, or the vaccine we are using, we have to keep them at dormant stage to be active. The moment they are losing that temperature that makes them to be dormant, they become viruses, very dangerous. They can even attack our birds. That's why you need this. This is my cooler. You already see me with this carrier. In a moment when I go there, I buy the vaccine, I put it here. Just expect it to reach here when it is very safe. What is inside here? I just have a syringe. These are syringe. The one I use. Others use droppers, but me, I always use these syringes to vaccinate. After buying the vaccine, reaching here, I have to mix my vaccine where my hands are still here. I repeat it. I mix my vaccine while my hands are inside here. So after mixing, of course, I keep the carrier closed. Then after there, if you're using a syringe just like me, there are those smaller syringes for one meal. Those are the good uh, for vaccinating. Good for vaccinating. Just for one reason, you will be uh, getting just a few vaccines within the syringe. You vaccinate or you put drops on your chickens, then you get any other one. Just, you know, we are talking about to keep these vaccines uh, at the uh, cool temperature. Just know even that our body temperatures can kill the vaccine. I repeat it. Just, you know, even our body temperatures can kill the vaccine. So make sure you get few small amount of the vaccine in the syringe. You put the drops on the eye, you put drops, then you get another one. It's over, then you get another one. So that is it. We've mixed. We are getting the vaccine from there. Uh, so then we try to put. Guys, we are just demonstrating here there is no vaccine, but at least you can get what we are trying to do. Come. As we are putting the, secondly, as we are putting the drops on our chickens or our chicks' eyes, make sure the eyes opened just like that one. Then you bring your drop. You put it exactly on the eye. Just like that. You put it there on the eye. As it will be closing it, the drop will be moving through getting inside the chicken so that is the way we are we try to do it then another thing as we are putting there on the, dro the drops on the eyes make sure the drop is uh, is taken inside not falling down uh, you may find that there is that uh, situation where people they are vaccinating, yet the drops are falling down. That's why you see this surface. Guys, this is the surface. This is, this is my surface. Where are you going to vaccinate that surface, that place you decided to vaccinate from? You just cover that surface. Just maybe using a... Uh, uh, using a uh, box, uh, using uh, papers, using papers, using cotton bags. Me, I'm using this to cover that surface. This will help you whereby you putting a drop 
these drops that are falling down they be falling on this surface so it will it so so it will be very easy for you after the process you just uh fold your surface you just fold this and you go there you take it you burn it or you dispose it maybe in a pit uh maybe in a pit latrine uh, you dispose it uh, that when we do it as i told you we are using a virus to vaccinate against the virus a moment this drop falls down just you know the virus will get uh, a chance uh, escaping from dormant stage to this room temperature so just expect it to become a virus you be already vaccinated you be already vaccinated your chickens but again the virus that escaped or that one drop that dropped into your chicken coop your, chi uh, your chicken house it will again become a virus that's why we vaccinate and at the same time we uh, still experience the attack of the same uh, the, the same viral disease so in a brief that's how we va we handle our vaccines so whenever you uh, thinking about to vaccinate your birds try to go all this process in order to get proper results guys if we take all into practice everyone can vaccinate his or her chicken in a proper way but what we have to do we have to put or we have to follow vaccination schedule we have to follow vaccination process we have to know uh, we have to get a little knowledge about the vaccine what are you going to vaccinate what is required for that very vaccine in order to do everything right lots of love happy 2024